BM NFGs, yeah! I'm Baron Mind, welcome back to Baron Mind's Nasty Finds. Today, what I've got for you all is a movie by Nut Wombat Studios, and this one here happens to go by the name of Sick Fox. The movie opens with two students named Steve and Chris. They're on the way to a lecture hall where a police officer stops them both to announce that their professor has been found dead. The story almost plays out retrospectively from here on. Steve seems to look anxious and uneasy. He starts drinking, revealing to Chris that he's had a cancerous brain tumour that he's been told will result in these hallucinations before his time's finally up. We see these masked and hooded figures appearing as Steve's drinking becomes more problematic. At one point Chris is seen in a hallucinatory state, stabbing Steve in the head. We also start to see these recurring doll figures that also seem to be at the crux of these hellish hallucinations. We're also introduced to a friend of theirs called Catherine, who's become a drug addict, and she also seems to be suffering from these nightmarish visions of mass figures and these weird sort of antique dolls that appear on screen, usually exacting some kind of violent torture on someone or having blood splashed in their faces. Amidst all this madness, there are also scenes of these spacecraft descending from the skies, almost like we're witnessing an alien invasion of some sort. As the storyline progresses, Catherine's sister ends up finding these VHS tapes, which appear to show her murdering somebody, possibly the professor who was mentioned at the beginning of the movie. Meanwhile, Steve's nightmares seem to continue to the point he's invited round to a friend's house party where he ends up killing one of the friends in the room. As things eventually come full circle, we're then found with Steve inside the room with the police officer as the officer's conducting an interview with him. The officer presents a VHS tape of Catherine's that appears to show her, Steve and Chris conducting this murder. As the interview progresses, Steve reveals to the officer that he himself has a mission. He feels that he's been a chosen superhuman, connected to these beings from outer space, and he feels he's superior to the rest of humanity, there to sow his seed while simultaneously wiping out the weeds that exist on the planet. Steve eventually manages to shoot the policeman in the head, killing him before leaving for that great big spaceship in the sky. <laughs> We get an epilogue at the end of Steve appearing inside a psychiatric unit where he's being fed medicine by a nurse. Steve refuses his medication before killing the nurse and escaping out of the psychiatric unit window. But we're not entirely sure whether this was all a figment of his warped imagination or whether it's actually happened, which leads the way to a possible part two. Now due to the fact I know there is a sequel to this movie, I'm more likely to lean toward the latter. I think the film did well to not go a sort of tried and tested route. It's quite original in the fact that it deals with the supernatural almost in this one and it was somewhat of an unexpected turn because I didn't have a clue that's where we were going getting into this one. The visual effect shoes actually step up in the second half of the movie and it's quite noticeable really. Everything inside there from the special effects work, the cinematography, even the sort of filters that are applied later on, they all work better than they do at the beginning. For a directorial debut, I've seen a lot fucking worse out there. So yeah man, I felt this one was actually a lot of fun from Not One Bad Studios. It could probably have done with a good editing job to get rid of some of the more prolonged scenes in there, but overall, I did quite like this movie. I think for a directorial debut, they did quite well with what they'd got. It was definitely something more left field than usual, and you have to give them credit for the creativity on that one. Massive thank you once again to Yannick and the guys at Nut One Batch Studios for sending this out to me. But for now, I guess that is me out, and I'll catch you all soon. Peace. What we do here is go back, 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 back.